The first part of the Vikramaditya Mothwane directed series Jubilee starring Prasenjit Chatterjee, Apar Shakti Khurana and Aditi Rao Hadari in the lead roles is out on Amazon Prime. The series is set in the late 1940s, the dawn of the golden era of Bollywood and revolves around people who are connected with the film industry. The period is crucial as this was the transition phase of Bollywood when the industry was shifting gears to make feature length talkies and the star system is just introduced to the common people. So we thought this would be the perfect time to give you an overview and discuss some hidden details from the first part of the series so that you can have the best viewing experience and you might have a better idea of what to expect from the second part. A spoiler warning is in order as we will be discussing essential plot points and character details from the show so if you haven't been able to catch up with the series yet maybe you should pause the video and get back to watching it on Amazon Prime. But if you are done watching it already, kindly follow us through the video. And yeah, while you're at it, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us a lot. Thank you and let's move on. The series starts with introducing the main players of the show and the year is 1946 pre-independent India. The same time when Mahbub Khan directed Anmol Ghadi and Chetan Anand's Neecha Nagar released on the big screen. The Hindi cinema industry is flourishing and Shrikant Roy who runs Roy Talkies, one of the leading studios of Bollywood, is hunting for his next big star. His wife is also a superstar called Sumitra Kumari who is unhappy in her marriage and is in love with Jamshed Khan, one of the top candidates auditioning for the Roy industry. The Hindu majority audiences back then were not really keen to watch a Muslim actor on the big screen so he and his contemporaries are auditioning not only for a role but also for the title Madan Kumar. To investigate his wife's affair with Jamshed and to convince them to come back to Bombay, Shrikant sends Binod, one of his trusted employees on her trail and he saves a charming young boy called Jai Khanna from the police but turns out he is the son of the head of a theatre company in Karachi and he is also going to meet Jamshed to recruit him in their theatre business. Binod gets to his investigation and tries to convince Sumitra to come back home and Jamshed on the other hand sends Jai to meet Nilofar Qureshi, a courtesan with a golden voice and a heart of steel. He falls in love with her but she rejects his advances and Sumitra plans to escape to Karachi with Jamshed. Learning about that, Binod, who is just pretending to be a fan and giving Jamshed a lift, tries to stop him and with religious rites happening everywhere, they meet with an accident. Binod hits him badly and leaves him to the enraged mob and helps Jai to get into a train bound for Pakistan. Shrikant confronts his wife at her supposed rendezvous point and brings her back. Upon returning, Srikant scolds Binod for being unable to bring back the next star of his studio and they both playfully act the climax scene of the movie that they're about to make. Srikant burns all the evidence of Binod beating an injured Jamshed which was taken by the same photographer who took the intimate pictures of his wife having an affair with the same guy and it seems he starts to see the reflection of his fictional star on Vinod's face. In the first episode we also get to see the poster of a Roy Studio produced film called Nal Damayanti which is also about a princess falling in love with a prince and the king trying to separate them which foreshadows the events we see in the episode. Not everyone agrees with Roy's choice to launch a nobody like Binod who formerly worked for him. Walia the movie's financier insults Binod and declines to support the project. Even Shrikant's wife disagrees with him for launching a mere staff who has no prior experience in acting. To launch Binod, Roy has no choice but to mortgage the studio to produce his dream film Shanghars. But when he keeps seeing Jamshed's ghost on his audition day sitting on the chair reserved for Madan Kumar, Binod struggles to act his lines but with a little bit of push from Shrikant, he manages to surpass everyone's expectations. Sumitra on the other hand tries to find the whereabouts of Jamshed. She even calls her friend in Pakistan but they are unable to locate him. She then tries to find his friend Jay but his family is forced to relocate to Bombay after losing everything including their dear theatre during the partition. In the refugee camp they have to face the harsh reality as the people fight for every inch. He meets a guy who tries to recruit him into the black market business but when he gets to the dog the other guy tells him to kill Raghu who controls the dog area. Jai leaves at first but then consents to kill Raghu in exchange for money to treat his brother who has been sick for a long time. 
When Nilofer gets to Bombay, she's manipulated and then forced to work as a sex worker, but she runs away and gets to a jeweler to collect her hard-earned money, who was asked to keep her savings safe by one of her happy connoisseurs. She collects the payment and meanwhile the first show deal of Bino's audition tape is well accepted among the investors. It is now 15th August 1947 and India is declared an independent country. Everyone is enjoying their freedom, even Shrikanth, we know that Nilofer, while Jai approaches Raghu, but he is unable to kill him as his men catch him before he can shove the knife into his stomach. Raghu did not file any complaints against Jay, so the police let him go, but his collaborators take him to the gangster and rat him out for a couple of addictive substances. Raghu decides to hold off on exacting revenge for the time being and permits Jay to leave, but he reminds him that Jay is under his debt. He then starts to look for different jobs and goes to various theatres to find even the smallest works to pursue, but he is unable to find any. After returning to the refugee colony, he has a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with the nurse Kiran, who inspires him to pursue his dreams. He accidentally comes across the poster of the upcoming Roy production film Sangharsh and he recognizes Binod in it. He ultimately seeks him down, now going by the name Madan Kumar, and Binod assists him in obtaining a job at the studio's canteen. Jai still has a dream to make a film someday and Binod entertains his ambitions. Meanwhile, Nilofer visits a bar and secures a singing gig by tipping the bartender. She gets close to Walia, who immediately falls for her beauty. Binod and Shrikanth are planning to introduce the first playback song in India and try to persuade one of their financiers with a performance. Sumitra, on the other hand, is still looking for Jamshed and she tries to ruin Binod's dream to become a star by discouraging the exhibitors about her lack of faith in his crowd pool. So they decide to move out from the project, but Binod outsmarts her by blackmailing the exhibitor with his affairs and his film finally makes it to the theatres. While looking at his film, he is really proud of the outcome, but Jamshed's makeup artist Maksud finds out the reason behind Jamshed's sudden disappearance and he is ready to take the phony Madan Kumar down. Maksud tries to blackmail Madan but he refuses to pay him a single paise and as his attempts to extort money from Madan fail, Maksud informs Sumitra of everything that happened. Sumitra wants to file a complaint against Madan for the murder of Jamshed but there isn't enough proof to support that claim. Roy then persuades her to wait before taking any action and he meets Nanik Jodwani, a powerful individual with connection in the administration. He informs Srikanth that both the US and the USSR aim to use radio and film to influence Indians as the Cold War begins. Vladimir Sardans, a representative of the USSR, travels to India to produce propaganda movies and Jodhwani wants Madan, the nation's top actor, to appear in these movies. But Roy declines to produce anything that he does not feel like making, so he denies the offer and shows them the door. Jodhwani then discusses it with Madan, who also declines the offer because he is wholly devoted to Roy. Nonetheless, Jodhwani has sway over Indian radio. He is aware that Roy is spending money on a recording studio to make more technically sound films. He wants to put pressure on him, so he discusses with the government to forbid the radio from playing Indian movie songs because of their dubious moral standards, as songs are essential component of Indian cinema, and without songs becoming a chartbuster first, a film is bound to fail. Jay previously attempted to write a script for Jamshed but he gave up on it after losing the theatre and being forced out of their motherland. He continues to work on it and then shows it to Madan. Although Madan likes it, Roy won't let him play the part of a poor taxi driver as it might affect his stardom. Roy does not like Jay and Madan's friendship so he gets Jay framed for stealing from the canteen and Jay loses his job. But fortunately, he was reintroduced to Nilofar while watching Sanghash and she promises to help him pitch his idea to Walia. And Madan starts to question his morals, so he confesses everything to his wife about Jamshed's death but only reveals the half-truth to gain her sympathy. Jay goes to work for Walia but he only allows him to drive his car around and do some simple chores. Later, Jay finds out that Walia is making duplicates of Hollywood movies, so he persuades him to make an original film. But Walia conditions him to bring Madan into the movie. Madan is back into doing secretive work for Roy as Indian government bans Hindi songs broadcast on the radio to force the producers into making propaganda films funded by the USSR. But Shrikan shakes his hand with the Americans to play the songs in their broadcast network. In return, he will distribute the American propaganda films. And he regularly sends Madan in disguise to deliver the songs to a private aeroplane. 
In the meantime, Jodhwani makes a deal with Sumitra that she will help them to prove that Madan is guilty of killing the almost mother. I mean, Binod is guilty of killing Jamshed and she helps them put bugs into their telephone line. Madan is starting to have second thoughts about his collaboration with Srikanth, so he agrees to Jai's offer. But when Srikanth tells him that his wife is searching for Jai, Jamshed's only friend, he quickly backs out from the project, telling that he won't work with Walia. Jai is trying really hard to make his own film and build his own studio, but the only way he can manage to take the land sanctioned from the refugee department is by pleasing Kiran's father by marrying her. He goes to Nilofar and offers her the female lead role opposite to Madan, and when he proposes his feelings for her, she gently denies it. He quickly returns and half-heartedly accepts the marriage proposal of Kiran. But looking at the progress the Punjabi community is having, the Sindhi goons led by Raghu come to destroy the film set and Walia the sly businessman comes up with a plan to cater to everyone. But as Madan refuses their film, the future of Jai and his film studio is uncertain. Giving a verdict without looking at the rest of the show would not be justified but this series is really engaging so far. The attention to detail is unreal and the performances of the actors are balanced between OTT realism and masala aesthetics. Anyway, we are eager to see what happens next in the series, but one thing I'm pretty sure about is that in the end, none of the main characters will come out completely victorious. The second part of Jubilee will start streaming on April 14, 2023, only on Amazon Prime. Hey, 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 thank you for watching this video. Do share your thoughts in the comment section about your experience of watching the first part of Jubilee on Amazon Prime or what are your expectations from the second part of the series. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel to get your weekly dose of cinema and series. See you at the next one. And for the time being, we are signing off. Acha chalta ho, Madan Kumar, Bip Bob, and I'll be back.